how's it going guys alright so in this tutorial we're going to be talking about how to insert images into our web page and after that we're going to be talking about the object tag the object tag essentially allows you to insert flash files audio files video files and etc into your web page so this is how you insert an image firstly into your web page so you type in img and then in the source attribute within a quotation you need to write the path of where the image is so I'm going to put dot forward slash what a dot forward slash does is essentially it points to the file in relevance to where this HTML document is so I'm going to say dot clam dot png which is the name of the image file ALT is essentially the tooltip that is shown when the image is hovered. So I'm just going to type in that clam. And there you go, we've just embedded our image into our web page. Now we can actually change the size of this 200 pixel. And there we go. And there you go, we've just reduced the size of it. Now ideally you should try avoiding using these attributes. I've only shown this here just for the sake of completeness but you should ideally as I said avoid using this because it can have an impact on the performance of your website. Now what happens is that imagine a situation where you have a fairly large file and you actually downsize it using these attributes but the problem with this is, is that the web browser will still have to download that large file and then resize it and this can actually slow, slow down your website so ideally you should create your web images accordingly sized to your web page now the next thing we're going to talk about is the object tag so this is how you create an object tag less than object and then you get these attributes now in the data attribute you need to point to data file that you want to insert so I'm going to do dot forward slash trust dot swf now this is a flash file extension type now in the type attribute I'm going to specify the application relevant to the file type I've just passed so application forward slash x dash shockwave dash flash and then I close the tag and then I want to go in the middle and I'm going to write a h3 tag and say you don't have flash so now what this does is that if the user does not have flash installed on the machine this would be displayed instead so now if I preview this you can see that we've just loaded flash onto our web page now we can actually also adjust the size of it so I'm going to set this to 500 pixel set the height to 500 pixel using the height and width attribute so now we just enlarge the file, flash file. And there you go, it's all working. Now, this is how you insert flash into your web page. You can also insert other data types, for example, PDFs. So now, if I go back to a data attribute and point to a PDF file, file.pdf, specify type, application forward slash PDF. So now what will happen is that when the web page is loaded, this PDF file is loaded onto your reader on the user's machine. You can also insert audios and other files if you like. So you can insert a WAV file for example. So this is a WAV file. And then what you do is audio forward slash the WAV type which is WAV 
So this is how you insert a WAV audio file into the web page. You can also insert videos as well, and this is how you do it. So I'm gonna type in video .mov. This is a quick time file extension, and set the type as video or slash quick time. And there you go. This is how you insert a video and be played on the client's machine using QuickTime. Now you can also pass in some parameters to QuickTime, and this is done using the param attribute uh, tag. So less than param name, and I'm going to do auto play true. So what this does is that when it's loaded, it passes on, passes on the autoplay attribute slash true. So when the page is loaded, the audio file will just automatically play. Now one thing I want to mention about this is that there can be some variations between web browsers. So for example, the data attribute we used to point to a file will work fine on Chrome and Safari and other browsers. But Internet Explorer works in a slightly different way. So what you need to do is set it as a param and the name put source and then point to the file. So what this is is that Internet Explorer understands this for this data type and all the other ones understands this.